I'm Reverend Andriette, and this is Point of Power. So today, I'm still rocking and rolling with Ian Van Zandt's Acts of Faith, the 25th anniversary edition. And for this Saturday, her focus is about how we see ourselves. And really, more specifically, what are the labels that we put on ourselves? And I think this is so essential because in my own life, when I began to notice what I was noticing, in light of having set a goal, an intention around how I want it to be with me, not how I wanted the world to be with me, how I want it to be with me. And I began to notice how I was being with me. Mm. And I was very disappointed to find that I would sometimes say things to me and about me that I would never say to another person. That may not make sense to you, but under, those, under a circumstance where I've made an error, or I've disappointed someone, or I, I did that thing again that I said I wouldn't do, or I, it could be as simple as I've, I've gotten lost. If you, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you get lost going somewhere the first time, and you go, oh, okay, it's a left turn, not a right. And the next three times you go there, you take the right turn first, and you go, darn it, I said it was next, and you do it. So sometimes when we go through that, we end up cursing ourselves in ways that we would never speak to another person or never, never hold another human in that light. And so I caught me. I caught me telling me off and, and framing my life in such a limited, uh, resentful, critical, judgmental kind of way. And so I began training myself to see me through new eyes. And so this piece that Ianla has written that blesses us this Saturday is really about the labels. In fact, Wayne Dyer, she quotes Wayne Dyer as saying, examine the labels you apply to yourself. Every label is a boundary or a limit you will not let yourself cross. So for example, it's not just those conscious judgments that are very specific. Oh, you always get lost or, oh, you can't do anything right. But it's also that you're a woman and you, you make that a box of limitation. Just that label. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a woman or I'm a man. So that means something. That's a box, a label that because you've said that about you, it immediately, you can almost feel the, the, the clamping down of the limitation that you've now put on yourself. The idea here is to keep reminding ourselves that we're more than a body. I'm more than a black female. Now, I am that, I present that way, that's probably the first thing that you might notice. But there's more to me. Within my beingness, there is a perfect divinity. I am spirit expressing as a human being. I'm a spirit living in a human experience. And that is unlimited. Realizing the unlimited, infinite nature of spirit in human form, that, my love, is a point of power.